All right, guys. So I wanted to make a quick video for you guys. You guys have been talking about how to uh, get more power out of this bike. Keep in mind, it doesn't change your top speed. There might be something that you can do to change your top speed on the bike. Um, I need to talk to John Angel a little bit more and see if there is any way to get more top speed out of the bike. But I don't think there is. So let's go get an Android phone. You need an Android phone. And uh, I went into the browser that they have. And of course this phone would take forever to, to load up. So what you want to do is go to kellycontroller.com slash support. Click this. And so the first one I think I downloaded was this one. And this one didn't seem to work very well. I started downloading a lot of these to see uh, which one was best. This is the one I came up with. If you click here. You go to KLS. And sorry, this phone is a little slow. It's a cheap... I don't even know what phone it is. A Galaxy Express Prime. Super cheap. I think I got it for 60 bucks or something like that. So anyway, you want to come to kellycontroller.com. Go down to KLS. You want to hit the Android version. Hit download. It'll start the download. Give it a second. Depends on your internet connection. I've actually downloaded multiple of them. Click it. It will say to extract the files. And then next... You'll hit this, and it will say to uh, obviously allow unknown sources. You know, you go to settings on your Android phone. Some phones might be different. Hit unknown sources. Let it accept. You say OK. It's going to say, do you want to install this on your phone? You hit install. I'm not going to do it because I already installed it. So exit out. You can see that I had this one at first. If you have anything that says DC Aducer, that does not work. AC Aducer is the one that works, but if you notice, I got two right here. I have one right here. This is the KLS one. This is the one that I seemed worked the best. So when you get it, make sure your bike's on. So uh, turn your bike on real quick. We still haven't got a charger for this bike, so I can't do anything with it. But we got enough battery to do this. So when it says uh, select type of comm, Bluetooth then you're, it, it's really hard to see. depends on your Android device because obviously you can't see the, the words under here. But just go off of what I'm doing. Hit this far uh, left button. It says paired device. It's going to find the Bluetooth in here. And if it doesn't for any reason find it in here, which it should, you can drop this down, go into your Bluetooth settings... And then you could basically, when the bike's on, you could turn this on and it will find all the little things that you can connect to and you can connect to it from here. And I believe, I think the password is probably just 0000 or 1234, something like that. But anyway, after you click this, hopefully we didn't mess it up by exiting out of the app. I'm already connected, so that's why that button's not working anymore. Then you got to go over here to read. It takes a second, so don't keep spamming that read button. And this will basically tell you everything. This will tell you um, the controller name. This will tell you everything, like all the settings you could change. I had Boost on because someone mentioned to do Boost, but I had issues with that being on. Um, but there's tons of stuff. So I tried to change some of these settings, like under volt and low volt, and I didn't get anything. But the main ones you want to look at is current percentage. Yours is going to be 50 or 55 stock. Then the next one's up here going to be battery current limit yours is going to be 55 or 60 the higher you go with these the more torque you're going to get out of this bike it's going to rip so just hang on for dear life um i noticed if i set this to i think i had mine at 75 i'm not going to change mine right now i'm, I'm leaving mine at 65 i had mine at 75 on current and then on battery current limit uh, I believe I had mine at 85 or 80. Um, you could try those settings, but honestly, if I was you, start low and work your way up and see how far you can get before your uh, bike starts cutting in and out because I was having issues when riding when I'd full throttle the bike and uh, it was messing up. So anyway, um, that's setting one. The reason why it took me forever to make this video is because this one actually has more settings if you uh, click over. The other one didn't. I don't know what any of this stuff means. I want to look it up one of these days. And um, 
it basically just tells you like torque speed you know like there's a little description up here but i can't see what it says like this says like speed error limit and torque mode range and it says you put the range from i don't know 50 to a thousand or something but anyway that's a uh, that's all you do to change those settings and then you come down here to this little button right here it says right and you'll just hit the right button my phone normally freezes and locks up but actually this time it didn't and basically all you want to do is my phone's a little weird so i actually have to exit out of all this stuff i gotta close the app open it back up go in the bluetooth set it all up again hit this pair device and hit read again that's the only way mine works if i try to do it without closing the app it will not read the bluetooth controller more don't don't ask me why and basically just make sure your settings are changed make sure that's good and make sure that's good if i was you i would not change anything in here and also take screenshots of what the page looks like there are ways to find out online what the stock uh, onyx controller settings were but i would take your own screenshots and save them just so you can go back just in case you mess something up now you might think oh cool i could change max speed changing that does nothing i put mine to 17,000. that did nothing the max output frequency is actually what is supposed to give your mile per hour difference but when i change that even if i put one if i put a thousand and one that does nothing it literally did nothing it won't actually let you change it over a thousand so i think it's an actual controller limit in here that's not allowing you to do it so that's basically it um so hopefully you guys like that video and you know don't mess up your onyx you know just kind of be safe like i said go up little by little you can't go any higher than 100 and 100 i don't think but i don't even think that will handle it maybe for the first 10 percent it might but then once you start getting lower than that you actually might start getting some bad cuts and you don't want to mess anything up so basically that's the video and when i get a charger for this bike i'll start riding again and get more videos so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next one later one more thing i need to touch on if i was you when you do change your settings with an android device that's the only thing that works do not leave the phone at home if you change settings and go for a ride unless you're going to be on your own block just going back and forth testing it out but if you're doing the mod and you're going to take this to work or you're going to go 10 miles on or something like that, bring the Android device with you because you might actually have the settings too high and you might have some issues getting to work or wherever you need to go. So bring the device with you in your backpack or whatever so you can change your settings back if you need to pull off the side of the road. I highly suggest that because I've left my house without the phone multiple times and the settings weren't correct. I was having a lot of issues with the bike. Had to come all the way back just to get the phone and correct it and then i was perfectly fine so just a heads up